Welcome to the Shintaido of America podcast. Shintaido is an amazing form of health exercise and body movement practice inspired by martial arts, a non-combative training system for mind and body invented by Japanese martial artists in the 1960s. Shintaido can be a way to open up to a deeper connection with ourselves, with our community, and with nature. In season one of the podcast, I'll be reading from the book Shintaido, The Body is a Message of the Universe, by the founder of Shintaido, Hiroyuki Aoki. But before I jump into that, I have a favor to ask. Shintaido of America produces this podcast and other educational materials on a shoestring budget. There are many things you can do to help, and the most important one is that if you like this podcast, tell people about us. Share it on your social media and give us a good rating on whatever platform you're using to listen to this. You can find links to this podcast, sign up for our free email newsletter, and find many other resources at our website, www.shintaido.org. That's www.shintaido.org. Hi, welcome to Episode 7 of the Shintaido of America podcast. I'm Shintaido instructor David Franklin. If we imagine a time machine that would allow Mozart to hear contemporary electronic music, or that would allow Michelangelo to experience Picasso's paintings, would these works of art make any sense to them? Maybe today's art would be completely incomprehensible to great artists of the past, but for us today, Mozart and Michelangelo still have profound meaning, even though their works were created hundreds of years ago. If we consider the ancient body movement arts of Japan, not only martial arts, but for example, traditional no theater or tea ceremony, if these ways of movement are not just museum pieces, but are still relevant for us today as living systems of physical training, then we might ask, should they be reinvented somehow? This is the question Hiroyuki Aoki faces when he writes, quote, After retracing the last 300 years of martial arts history, I concluded that just as modern art had to be created in its own historical context, the martial arts could be adapted to modern conditions, and the forms and movements would be completely different from the traditional styles, close quote. As I mentioned, our podcast today is like an audiobook. I'll be reading from the book Shintaido, The Body is a Message of the Universe, by the founder of Shintaido, Hiroyuki Aoki. Okay, ready? Here we go. Chapter 2, Section 5, Developing a Modern Martial Art As we have seen, every martial art reflects its own age, and it is axiomatic that every great idea shall be renewed, and that the techniques and philosophies of the great martial artists shall be recreated. In the Shogun period, martial artists still carried their swords at their sides, but they could not draw them as freely as they had in the earlier times of civil war. Nonetheless, they still risked their lives to create a new way of Budo. They were spiritual revolutionaries, staking their lives on one swing of the sword, and in many instances, they were avant-garde artists, far ahead of their times. Even in this age of space travel, I felt that by crossing swords, we could also develop a new method of exploring psychological sensitivity between two people. By using body movement, we could regain a measure of the genuine communication which has almost disappeared from our lives, and at the same time repair our bodies and minds from the damaging effects of modern civilization. I believed that in exploring such a method, we would discover the true nature of our bodies and our universe. I felt this mode of inner research would be even more necessary in this age because the damage is greater now. By using a body movement or the martial arts to examine the conditions of our own age, 
I believed that a new mode of expression might arise and attract a new age philosophy. I hoped to focus the martial arts in this light because I am, after all, a martial artist. If I were a cobbler, I would, of course, wish to make strong, beautiful, and comfortable shoes. But more than that, I would want to make them in a way that would enable one to be healthy, to work efficiently, and to have a bright face and a shining, free spirit. I would hope that a person wearing my shoes would discover personal confidence and love of neighbor and live in liberty and peace. I would try to produce this shoe, even if it required several hundred years, and I were obliged to hand my secrets down to succeeding generations. Even before I created Shintaido, this determination burned in my heart. I viewed the martial arts as the evolution of consciousness because there was a parallel in the flow of history of Western art. Of course, any connoisseur of art is familiar with its history, from Masaccio and Michelangelo to Delacroix, a forerunner of modern art. Delacroix broke through the aristocratic control of artistic expression by means of striking colors and vivid imagination. Following his achievements, especially in France, there was a momentous artistic movement known as Impressionism. This was followed by German Expressionism, which was steeped in the discoveries of depth psychology. In America, modern art continued to develop in the works of Jackson Pollock, Roy Lichtenstein, and Andy Warhol, leading to the golden 60s of modern art. Perhaps there is no better way to describe our times than as the creation of a monster. The rapid development of mass communication and transportation has crisscrossed the sky with jet planes and overrun the earth with motor vehicles. Even in these conditions, modern art continues to rise before us in solemn splendor. In my own experience as an artist, my canvas was often the same to me as the site of a battle. However, if I lost, I was not injured. I never lost my life, but it was still a battle. I was facing beauty as an opponent. After retracing the last 300 years of martial arts history, I concluded that just as modern art had to be created in its own historical context, the martial arts could be adapted to modern conditions, and the forms and movements would be completely different from the traditional styles. It is said that great art can foresee the future 50 or 100 years hence. Even if a modern martial art cannot do this, it can at least issue a call for today's needs. Just as modern art evolved from the concrete to the abstract, and the aim of the artist changed from the evocation of beauty to directness of expression, I felt that the martial arts world should emphasize not only the development of power and individual discipline, but should also be the direct expression and communication of life. I would like to make one point clear at this juncture. It has been said that Shintaido was created in an eclectic fashion by taking the best parts of traditional martial arts, including karate. However, in the crucible of modern art, the simple study of classical methods never produces a new way of expression. One cannot be an Andy Warhol merely by practicing drawing for a prescribed amount of time. Similarly, I did not limit my study to karate and the other martial arts in this limited way. This holds true for Shintaido as well. You cannot become an expert in Shintaido simply by studying many kinds of martial arts. I believe it is nonsense to say that it is necessary to study all the classical martial arts before creating a new one. This is the same as saying that before we use an electric light, we must use a candle or before we drive a car or take an airplane, we must use a horse and buggy. Furthermore, how can we fit the long history and great diversity of the classical martial arts into one category? I spent almost 10 years in the study and systemization of classical karate kata alone. By the same token, if we were to enter into even one part of classical budo, I doubt we could reach Shintaido in one lifetime. Ko budo 
or ancient martial arts, is one of the richest aspects of Japanese culture. It is a brilliant treasure which preserves the great philosophical and spiritual attainments of our ancestors. The purpose and character of my work, however, is completely different. My intention is not to preserve old classical forms and transmit them to succeeding generations, but to work and live in the spirit of the old martial artists. You've been listening to Episode 7 of the Shintaido of America podcast, a reading from the book Shintaido, The Body is a Message of the Universe, by Hiroyuki Aoki. If you enjoyed today's podcast, the most important thing you can do to help is to tell people about us. Share the podcast on your social media and give us a good rating on whatever platform you're using to listen to this. Shintaido of America is a member-supported nonprofit organization, and there are many ways to support our truly micro-budget production of educational materials. And I really mean that. We produce a huge amount of content on volunteer power, but some things just require a few bucks in the bank. So make a donation or become a member of Shintaido of America. You can do that. Sign up for our free email newsletter and also find all kinds of free educational resources at our website, www.shintaido.org. That's whiskey, whiskey, whiskey dot Sierra Hotel India November, Tango Alpha India, Delta Oscar dot Oscar Romeo Golf. You can also find us on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube by searching for Shintaido of America, and our email address is podcast at shintaido.org. Our episode today was recorded and edited by me, David Franklin, with support from Sarah Baker, Connie Borden, Teresa Soldatova, Jim Sterling, the Joe Zawilski Memorial Fund, and of course, the members of Shintaido of America. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Shintaido of America podcast. I'm Shintaido instructor David Franklin. Contents of this podcast, copyright Shintaido of America 2022. Shintaido, opening to life.